Good morning guys, or good afternoon, depending on what time you're watching this video. Um, how are we all doing? Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to take these off actually because I think they always reflect on the camera. Now today's video, I thought I'd pick the camera back up because I'm heading into London for a couple of events that I want to take you with me to. We're heading for a fitting with Moss Bros. So I'll show you what I try on, what I end up selecting. It's for their new spring summer collection. Then I'm heading to a PR event and then heading to another kind of launch of a spring summer collection for next. So I thought I would do kind of a little get ready with me slash grooming routine slash morning routine, uh, morning routine because I don't feel like I've shown you in quite a while my kind of updated grooming routine. So I'm just gonna show you how I get ready to head into London really, what products I use, kind of how I select my clothes, very exciting stuff. And then I will then take you into London with me to the events. I have just been to the gym. I feel like as much as I say I would love to or that I do, every time I go into London, I come home and I just can't be bothered to go to the gym. So I have to just get up and go. So I went this morning at 6 a.m., got my leg workout done and now feel like I've accomplished something for the day. If I waited until I got back from walking around London all day, I just know I wouldn't have gone. So I feel proud of myself for getting up and going. Um, I also, I don't know if I've mentioned this on any of my vlogs before, my manifesting gratitudes. Now some people think in life things are coincidence. Some people just don't believe, some people do. Now I have been doing this since I think the start of lockdown. A lot of my friends do it and they kind of convinced me into trying it. And basically what I do is every single day, I write down three things I am grateful for. Now that could be three things in life that you're grateful for, it could be three things on that day, three things the day before, it's completely up to you, there is no rules. I personally do my gratitudes in the morning, I just need to clear, <coughs> I feel like a, a wheeze in my throat, so I'm just getting over a cold, so I thought it's best to clear it than sound like I'm ill. Um, now I write my things from the day before, so it could be if someone's helped you, it could be if the sunshine came out, which it isn't right now, so it won't be in there tomorrow. So yeah, three things for the day before, and then I do my manifests. Now I have had probably 20 of these books now because I just fill them. And what I do is just every day, personally myself, I repeat every single thing and sometimes some things come off if I've achieved them, sometimes things come on if I want them. It can be anything you want, no goal too high. You can literally ask the universe for anything, love, money, wealth, career, whatever you want, ask for it. Because if you don't ask, you don't get. So every single day I write down, <clears throat> back again, I write down things that I want in life. And I'm telling you now that when you achieve those goals, when you achieve those things, because you will, it is the best feeling ever because you don't only just feel like you've achieved them, you feel like you manifested them, you feel like you wanted it and you went out and got it. Now it isn't like a superpower, so it's not like a book where you write it down and then boom, it just happens. It just makes you accountable for the fact of if you want a new car, you start saving. If you wanna go on a holiday, you start saving. If you wanna find love, maybe you join a dating app. It just makes you and pushes you towards doing steps to achieving those goals. Anyway, that's enough for my kind of spiritual morning talk. So yes, I'm just gonna do some emails now. Then I've gotta feed Carter. He basically is not eating his dog food at the moment, so I'm having to cook fresh food for him. So in the mornings I do him eggs, scrambled eggs. And for dinner, I mean, he is crazy. He's having turkey steaks, turkey, mince. He's even having steak. I cooked him steak last night. So this morning I'm gonna do him scrambled eggs. And then, yeah, we'll start getting ready to head into London.
say. Ah, no. Currently balancing this camera on actually a piece of loo roll because I don't know why, but the camera I've got to vlog, it like zooms in so much that you have to put it so far away and high up. But anyway, feeling fresh and looking young again. That's my kind of updated morning grooming routine. I'll link all of the products I've used down in the description box below. Gonna go and pick out an outfit now. I'm not really sure what sort of vibe I wanna go for yet, but let's get an outfit chosen, get it on, and then get ourselves into town. I feel like I'm sweating already. Now my outfit, I've gone for something a little bit more casual, comfortable, less layers, because when I go into London, I just feel like I get so hot from walking around and going on the tubes. I just look like I've been through a rainstorm if I don't wear less layers. So I've just got a t-shirt and a thin jacket. And then also as I'm heading into Moss Bros to try and close, I just wanted to go for a jogger pants. So they're easy to kind of take off, try and close and put back on. I feel like I'm getting old because leaning over like this is doing my back end. So I'm going to show you my outfit. I'll do a little catwalk for you. This bedroom is really tight. So I don't know if you can see the full outfit, but just black sneakers, a jogger pants, white tee, bit of jewelry and a jacket. Um, this jacket I absolutely love. Have I gone back in focus? It's quite bright. There we go. This jacket I absolutely love, but um, unfortunately I got it ages ago. I always keep my clothes because I find that I get bored of things, want to get rid of them, but then like a year later, two years later, I love it again. So I always keep everything just in case it can kind of come back into fashion. But I am running late. I'm going to head downstairs and sort Carter out quickly, let him out. And then, um, yeah, let's finally get into town. I don't know why I'm walking off because I actually need the camera. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Guys, there were so many nice new bits. Got Josie on hand, helping with the selecting. There's just too many things. <laughs> Get me a nice pair of white chinos. There's so many items that are just loving here. I feel like it's like Christmas. Loving these kind of cream, beigey jeans. Spring, summer coming now and it just gets me excited. Got a nice plain white tee. Absolutely loving this two-piece set I'm gonna try on. So we've got this kind of oatmeal shirt with these shorts. I have this in blue already. It's got like a blue, so I feel like I don't wanna keep getting the same bits. But yeah, I'm gonna go and Go a bit wild and then try it all on and see see what fits. Is that why I feel like I, I, rec I reckon small might be better because there is like a, like a oh, is there a bit? grab fabric off your back, which okay. I'm going to say is I reckon I look like it's going to be a small on a parachute. Yeah, I'm like one of those boats. <coughs> parachute gets off. I, I reckon you're a small. <laughs> I feel like with these shorts mm -hmm. with the white tee, I look like Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, like, I feel oh, like I'm in like a Disney film. So Come on. <laughs> I don't know why, it really is giving me like, I'm a real you. boy. I like that. Like, that's like, you could wear that with like sandals, trainers. I've got these like brown, <clears throat> like brown flip floppy things. Mm. That'd be nice. Love this look. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I feel like I do my hair to come into town. And then you go and try and stuff on, and then it just looks messy again. And it's all thanks to Josie for <laughs> providing me with so many nice clothes that are going over my head. So guys, we are, as I'm in London for the rest of the afternoon, we thought it was best if I got the stuff sent out to me. So I was gonna show you tomorrow, morning closing off the vlog, some of the stuff I picked up, but as I'm not gonna have them now, I just wanna quickly show you before I move on to my next event, what items that I picked. I went for this two piece, 
What colour would you say this is? Uh, chocolate brown. Chocolate brown, which I actually have these already in the trouser from last season. So I'm going to get the shorts now for this season. And then the matching shirt as well. All of these items I will link down in the description box below for you. And you will be seeing them very soon when I style them up on my Instagram. Then we've gone for this jacket. Sorry, but guys, by the way, I keep sniffing. I've got my runny nose. Uh, this jacket, which is kind of like a, like a bit like a, what do you say, oatmeal? Yeah, oatmeal, and it's like a slight herringbone texture. A herringbone texture. Good, you should be doing this. <laughs> So we've got that, which I absolutely love. Again, as it's spring summer, we're still getting colder days. So a nice t-shirt under that. We are just getting some simple tees. I really want a nice bright tee for my holiday in a couple of months, rather than just wearing white and black. Then we've got this shirt. Now I had something similar material from again last season and um, I wear it all the time. So I've gone for a little bit of a different print this time with a stripe down the middle. And then the one that didn't have my size, but I know we tried something similar, is this kind of, what do you say? Is it not a V-neck? Um, a Cuban a colour. A Cuban colour. God, I'm learning stuff, stuff myself. A Cuban colour black shirt. It fit really well um, in the green, but I want to go for the black. I feel like I'll get better use out of it. Then we've got these really nice cream... Ecru. Ecru. I'm not very good with my colours, am I? These Ecru, kind of like they're like a high-waisted um, skinny fit jean. Well, relaxed fit, sorry, jean. They were really nice on with the polo I'm going to show you in a moment. But um, I think they're going to be really nice, kind of moving into the warmer temperatures now. A nice lighter colour. And then this was the polo, which matched really nice with this. And then finally, these trousers which the shorts that I showed you here in that dark chocolate, and I said I had the trousers, these are exactly the same trouser, but in like a dark charcoal gray. And then we are picking some shoes as well, but unfortunately they don't have my size here, but they're getting sent out. So yeah, keep an eye out for all of these bits on my Instagram and stuff soon. Like, I'm out of breath. I know it's literally like a workout. <laughs> Gonna sort all of this out and then, yes, head on to the next event. Hi! Kelly, Kelly came prepared with the umbrella. Yeah, that's it. I did not come prepared. What I do my hair this you? morning, do a whole grooming routine, and then come into town and just get drenched. And I just try to close the moss cross and just mess up all my hair there as well. Anyway, Disappointing. I know. <laughs> my manager Kelly, by the way. Hi. We're just heading in now to oh, the next event. Here. Oh, there we go. There there we go. go. Right, heading in. So we're going from one manager to the next. So we're we are, Kelly. Um, we now have Poppy. Oh, look how stylish Poppy looks today. God, she's such a style queen. Why are you not an influencer? So Poppy, come on, tell us, where are we? Um, we are in the next summer party. Right now. Um, so upstairs is the Upstairs is the summer party, downstairs is a sophisticated home. I'm putting Poppy on the spot. I mean, you're doing a really good job. You should be. You should do this vlog, not me. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, so we just we all love looking at the homeware. I always say this, but then I'm like, I need a massive home to put everything in. Sorry guys, having a coughing fit. Oh, I feel like I've got snivels and coughs, which means a cold is coming on. So I better dose myself up on Lensips to try and get in front of it, on top of it. Um, but anyway, we have come to the end of this vlog. 
I do apologise if yesterday I didn't really get that much footage when I was out and about. I'm only just getting back into kind of my vlogging. And it, it can be very like time consuming and quite hard because I would love to show you guys. I'd love to have like a camera. This, poss this is possible to be fair. A camera strapped in my head so you could see everything I do and just capture it all. But whereas like with Moss Bros, I kind of went in, I had to pick the clothes, try the clothes on. I literally had an hour before my next event. So I was trying to kind of do all of that while picking up the camera to film as well. So I don't feel like I got everything I wanted, but it is a learning curve and every day is a learning curve. And yesterday was just miserable. It was raining, as you could see on the vlog. I was drenched. It just makes you feel more tired and drained when it rains, but today, I'm currently sitting looking outside and it is a beautiful day so I want to get out in this because I feel like sometimes I love going into London and doing those sort of things because I generally sit in this kitchen every day working or in a house shooting and especially when it's a nice day it's nice to get out and about. Yesterday it was probably better if I stayed in but it was still nice to be in London catching up with people, seeing actual human beings not just sitting with my dog all day. Um, the grooming routine, I feel like kind of just getting my head back into vlogging. A grooming routine like yesterday's would take me all of maybe 10 minutes. It probably took me an hour and a half because obviously picking up the camera, filming different angles, showing you guys the products that I'm using. So yeah, it's just, it's just getting my head back into, I'm doing my vlogging again. But anyway guys, that is it for today's video. I've linked all the products I use down in the description box below, everything that I can find. Hope you did enjoy it. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It really helps. And uh, let me know down in the comments box below if there's anything that you would like to see from these vlogs. Um, because I'm always on my comments, reading them. I really appreciate when you guys comment. Um, so I want to see what you guys want to see. And please be nice. I've just realised looking in here that I actually have a coffee stain here. This morning I had an accident. I spilled coffee all down myself. But, I mean, you probably didn't even see that. I've just drawn your attention to it now. But... Anyway, that's it guys. Thank you all so much and next week's vlog is going to be really good. It's going to be a try and haul with me and Carter. We've got some new clothes arriving so I'm going to go and get them and um, we'll try them on and I'll show you what we got. So yeah, enjoy your day. Sending you all lots of love and positivity and I will see you next week. Take care.